hi <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel um i'm here because i had to stand through it and i had to endure it and i had to walk through it so that i can help the next stand through it and walk through it i am a survivor and i am learning how to live again in Christ. So the message I bring to you is the Lord is stating, and he's been stating to me for a while now. <laughs> My camera cut off on me. The Lord, the devil is a liar. The Lord is basically stating that he's been stating it to me. So I know he needs me to spread the gospel and the good news. He needs you guys to have childlike faith. Okay. Basically, he showed me just how my son trusts his mom to put him in his car seat, put on the seat belt, tell him to sit back and enjoy the ride. We're going to get there safely. My son trusts that his mom is going to make sure that happens. So that's what God wants us to, to be like. That's what he needs me to be like. He needs me to have childlike faith. Childlike faith is doing something because you know it's going to happen. Faith is acting out what you believe. So Israel is acting out his trust in me and staying seated, being in his in the back seat, and making it to the destination I need us to go to. And that's what the Lord is saying to his children. That's what he's saying to us. He's basically stating like, I just need you guys to trust me because I promise you, I promise you, and this is the good news. He's literally stating that he needs us Yes, we're out here to win souls, but we also have to work on ourselves. And that's a day-to-day -day process. So you have working on yourself and you have saving souls as well. Okay. And he's just here just to remember. He basically needs us to. <laughs> he needs our storage. He needs. He. The storage we have in our, our mind, he needs space. That's what he's saying. He's, he's basically saying, give me space. Give me enough room to where I can shift everything for your good. The only thing I ask of you, the only thing Satan wants from my children is their faith. It's not them. It's the faith that's dangerous. So what he's stating is just how kids wake up on Christmas morning, they are acting in faith, knowing that there's gifts downstairs in the living room by the tree. That's how the Lord wants his children to be. That's exactly how he needs us to be. We need to wake up with excitement. We need to wake up wanting to see our father. We need to wake up and it shouldn't feel like a chore. It should be, you know what? It's not even the scripture. It's just what he's shown me and done for me in my life that makes me happy. But of course, if this same figure, if this same divine being is telling me to do this and do that, of course, I'm going to tap into the Bible. Of course, I'm going to tap into the word of God. Of course, I'm going to tap into the signs and the wonders. Of course, I'm going to tap into helping and saving and uplifting the homeless, the hungry, the needy. Of course, because the Lord has done this for me and it, 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 it intrigued me. It made me happy on the inside. It brought breakthrough. When I say, <laughs> whatever you do, do not take your foot off of Satan's head. Whatever you do, you give him an inch. He's going to take it and make it a whole yard because he, he, he's desperate, right? He's hustling for our faith. And the Lord wants you to know he cannot have it. Tap in. Once you tap into this this being, this pool, this, 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 this abundance, this, this knowledge, this wisdom, this, this divine creature who's so mysterious, but so mighty, he created everything. Until you tap into that, you have to tap into your childlike faith. You don't need adult faith. You don't need big girl faith. No. Because then we tend to feel like, oh, well, I'm independent. I got me here. 
actually I didn't get me here. This is a nice mansion. I have a nice Mercedes Benz. My son has a nice private school. I'm rocking this, I'm rocking that. I'm going to these events. The trenches made me like this. No, the Lord made me like this. This is just boot camp. This is just preparation for what he has to come. And the reason why it scares, you know, why the reason why it frightens, the reason why it makes people uncomfortable is because they're not tapped into who God truly is. And the Lord I know, <laughs> he don't play about me. So I know he doesn't play about his his children, all of us. He doesn't play about us. So why every day, why shouldn't we wake up every day excited? It's hard. I know it. I know it is. I've been there. 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 But just I, I have my wall. I'm setting up my wall. <laughs> it, it, it states that for one. Sometimes when we're seeking answers, we're really seeking control. When in actu actuality, we just need to have childlike faith and we need to trust the driver. And the driver is God. The driver is our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit. That's who's driving the vehicle, not me. I don't know what's going on. I, I, don't, I don't have a phone. I can't help you with a map. The Lord ain't asked me for nothing. But to have faith and act on what and be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Sacrificing is like, oh, well, I did all of this, but I'll sacrifice this. I'll fast, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give up this. But obedience is doing it right then and there. Obedience is if you do this, you wouldn't have to do this. You wouldn't have to sacrifice this if you would have just listened to me. You wouldn't have to sacrifice that chocolate. Even though it tasted so good, you would you wouldn't have to sacrifice it. You wouldn't have to go to the hospital because of diabetes if you would have just listened to me. You wouldn't have it anymore. So, I don't know why. I don't know where this is coming from. It's from some, it's for someone, okay? Because I didn't want to do this. I didn't. You see what I look like? <laughs> if you made it all the way down to this part, God. I pray that God shows his face. I pray that you ask God, you take this message back up to, to God for confirmation. Because um, honestly, I didn't want to do this. It wasn't, I don't do this for clout. I I do this because God, my Heavenly Father told me to. And if he needs me to do something, I'm going to do it. And it's easier said than done because I am a work in progress, okay? And only he knows, okay? And I know I'm not the only one. But I'm not shunning that on y'all. I'm not shunning that on y'all. Y'all be great, okay? And I'm going to be great. And we all just going to be great together. Just have childlike faith. Please. Because Satan is after our faith. Satan is after not us. He's not after our money. He's not after the girls, the boys, the, the daughters, the sons, the happiness, the prosperity. He's not after none of that. Not us. He's not after our money. He's not after the girls, the boys, the, the daughters, the sons the happiness, the prosperity. He's not after none of that. He's after that faith. Just how these thieves, they're not, they don't care about you. They want what you have. And what we have is faith because faith is going to get us to where God has destined us to be in the name of Jesus. Glory to God and hallelujah. So let's pray out. Heavenly Father, we come to you as your humble children in Christ, Lord God. I just pray that you just wrap, the, wrap us up in your arms, Lord Jesus. I pray that your children catch this message. I pray that I catch this message, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. And I just pray that your children receive this message. Take it up back to you, even if they have questions about it, Heavenly Father. Allow your children not to look at the messenger, but to take the message lord god in the name of jesus i pray that you protect us you keep all harm and danger from coming our way lord jesus and we send it back to the center lord god none of your words come back to you lord jesus back void so i pray psalm 77 1 3 and 4 over our lives lord jesus and i just pray that y'all have a magnifying beautiful glorifying bless blessing of a night and may the lord shine his face on you and show you peace. I love you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, okay? <laughs>